This demo will show you how to automatically shut down and perform other operations on multiple remote computers. It will help you to start applying the best practices of power management to your organization, in order to reduce energy consumption, save costs and make your organization greener. Let's get started. The Remote Shutdown is a network application that can manage remote computers. So as the first step, we should get the actual network configuration that includes information about the available network groups and computers. It is an automatic process that can be initiated by launching the network enumeration wizard. The first page of the wizard explains the purpose and the details of the automatic enumeration process. It's just an informational page, so we can proceed to the next step. On this page, we have to choose the method by which computers will be added to the network configuration. We can either rely on the enumeration process, that will detect the available computers automatically, or specify one or multiple computers manually, by their name or IP address. Let's select the enumeration option and go to the next step. This page allows us to select the scope for network enumeration. We can choose either the entire network enumeration, or enumeration of computers that belong to particular workgroups and domains. In this demo, we will only manage computers in few domains. So, we can skip enumeration of other groups, by choosing only the required domains in the list. Good. Now let's click the Finish button to start network enumeration. It's important to remember that network enumeration, as well as other network operations, requires an administrative access to remote computers. If we get an authentication request during the enumeration process, it means that the current account doesn't have enough permissions to access the network group, and we have to enter other credentials in order to enumerate it. Great! Now, the network enumeration continues, and we can track the progress on the status bar. Once the network enumeration is completed, we can see the discovered groups and computers in the network browser. In order to ensure that the enumeration has been completed successfully, we can check the application log. As you can see, it displays the operation status for every computer, and is the right place to find troubleshooting information in case of errors. The recent operation has been completed successfully on all computers, and everything is fine with our network configuration. It is up to date at the moment, so we can manage all these discovered computers remotely. If the network configuration is changed later on, we can easily refresh it by using the corresponding action on the ribbon bar. Good. Now that the network environment is initialized, we are ready to configure a remote task. A list of the available remote actions is represented on the ribbon bar. Let's select the shutdown action. Every remote action can be configured through the multi-steps wizard. On the first page of the wizard, we should enter the name of our task. Then define its execution date and time. Good. Let's move on to the next step. On this page, we have to choose the computers where shutdown will be executed. Let's select the required computers and proceed to the next step. This page allows configuring task-specific options. In particular, if we enable the corresponding option, we can have a notification message displayed on the remote side. Great! Now let's pass on to the final step. On this page, we can configure various email notification options, but let's keep the default settings and press the Finish button. As you can see, the configured task now appears on the calendar. It means that the task is scheduled for execution at the defined time, and Remote Shutdown will launch it automatically when the time comes. We just need to wait. It's important not to exit Remote Shutdown because if it is closed, it will be unable to track the schedule and initiate remote operations. When execution of the remote task is started, we can check its progress on the status bar. We configured it to display the notification message, so, as you can see, notification dialogues are displaying now on the remote computers. According to the progress bar, our remote task has finished, so let's check if the remote computers have been shut down successfully or not. In order to get the execution results, we can select the task on the calendar and switch to the task execution results tab. Here, we can see the status and if applicable, the error message for every computer. According to these results, our task has been executed successfully on all computers. 
That's all for now. In the next episodes, we will learn how to configure other types of tasks and launch them on a regular basis. Stay tuned.